Are yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. And I drink tons of beer. You, yeah. But I drink tons of great beer. Yeah. You didn't even know that a young one was a fucking twist off. I wouldn't know it because <sighs> the beer that I drink is not twist off. Well, you know, it's like a growler. You're a tourist. Like you're a right? beer tourist. You're a growler, man. You're a tourist. <laughs> you're a tourist. <laughs> what do you like? I don't slum. You don't slum it with a pit. I like, uh, I like, good. I like IPAs. You like IPAs, That's right. my, that's. Right. Okay. Yeah. That, see, that's where we differ because I cannot stand a hoppy beer. Right. Hoppy beer is Yeah, the right. hoppier, the bitter, the more bitter, the better. So. Yeah, oh. That's terrible. Yeah. I don't know how y'all do it. Oh, it's 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 just what you like, man. You know what's a great beer? Man? I normally never make fun of you, what's but I'm best, making fun of you right now beer? about that. Not the best beer. I know it's not a great. First of all, I know it's not a great beer. Right. And I know it's not the king of beers. It's not even a good beer. <laughs> but it's the same every time, and it's not Pass bad. Blue Ribbon. I'm at you, regular Bud. Bud. You know, just regular Bud. Bud Light, I think. Isn't Bud Light the number one selling beer in the whole world? Probably was. was. <laughs> Probably yeah, was. Yeah. You, don't, you don't watch the news, do you? <laughs> Dude, that's it. Bud but Light. I, I am going to the Kid Rock show Saturday night. He's, he's, I he's, bet he's, you there'll he's, be no Bud Light. By, yeah, sponsored <laughs> by Bud Light. That's right. There'll be no Bud Light. No relation to, to what we're talking about. Um, yeah. Um, this is an awesome spread right here. Oh, dude, yeah. No, we're just chilling. Uh, so we got... Like? We got Evo over here. Yeah, we got Evo. Hello. Who's a rare addition to the to the to the green? He's like our guest. Right. Yeah. Yes. We had a nice Special breakfast guest. this morning. We had a wonderful breakfast. Wonderful breakfast. We had yeah. a nice breakfast. We went to Fenwick's and we mm. had this amazing. Uh, I had this amazing rice situation it was, for breakfast. It, it was fun. Weird, but it was amazing. It was really total good. sleeper. Wasn't that? It was total sleeper. Yet. And this sweet waitress, she talked me into it, and I no regrets really. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> no, no. You know, I want to go back to Evo because I love Evo yeah, so much. Yeah, but yeah. But you know, come to think of it, Evo has been on homeschooling at least a few times on the road. Oh, definitely. Right? He's, road, been, yeah, he's yeah. one of the main characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the movie. No, I get it. He's one. Yeah, that's yeah, right. He's, one of the main <laughs> he's like stands Yeah. But yeah. but uh, I mean, you know, and and I know you've done videos where you show off Evo's aims. Oh, dude. Dynamite. Well, every Dynamite. single one of the videos we've done so far has been... And everybody that tries one, buys one. That's it. That, that's it. Yeah. They're incredible. Yeah. I love your amps. They're dynamite. Yeah, I'm, dude. I was more than happy to get one. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, I was yeah. happy you made one for I'm me. I'm glad that you got one, too, because we keep kill, it here. Kill it's, it's the house amplifier yeah, here. It is. Is yes. Evo's amp. Yes, sir. But I also want to make mention, which is probably not covered on the road, or through your new builds, huh? is that what a bad dude you are when it comes to repairing vintage amplifiers well he used Nam to be. i know he, i know I, I know it. i know but he still is you know you know what it is man I, i'm with you you know why he because was the greatest repairman ever but yeah, he but it, doesn't, it doesn't stop what you know his he, status he, he, so, he, he only fixes my ass now and and he's still active <laughs> Dude, two, two years ago I retired. I don't want to be spoken of in that way. <laughs> you know? But it's true. But if you were to, and even when you stop or you want to, or however much of it you do, mm -hmm. I just think it's it's interesting because like when you get to something like a video, you get known for for, for something, you know. And uh, with Ebo being on the road, being a tech guy, yeah. um, building your own amps, all that is awesome. Checkbox, yeah. checkbox. You know, yeah. I just always had the most respect for you for what you were able to do with vintage, vintage amps. Uh, that that is. He's a fine human being. One of my that favorites. is right there, and one of the best guitar players around yes, too. He is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Snoozer. He is. He is. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, it's, I just want to make mention of that. Oh, all right, oh Greg, I love you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. How about mm -hmm. that picture I sent you last night? You oh. holding the two double legs. How sick was that? Double, double. <laughs> You think that picture was that old? It had to be. Look, the the the, the behind me was my office. Right. That was my little cubicle right. area. That was before my office was right. built out, which had to be six, seven, eight photo? years ago. Greg holding two double necks. <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't look like he's struggling yeah. at all. No, no, no. <laughs> Inside, he's, I was tired, man. No, he's no, like, no. yeah, take the picture, oh, goddamn. No, he would not break a sweat at all. No, no, no. no, no Greg's no, like no. the last real man on the planet. He really is. No. He's, yeah, that's why we call him old world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, we, we, you know, sometimes uh, when people make videos, they actually have a point. Yes, we're not doing that today. No, nope. uh, <laughs> not this time. We're not, not doing all. that. Uh, nope. we couldn't come up with one. Well. We don't really need Couldn't one. agree. I think we just like, I think we do better when we just riff. Agreed. I think so too. We Agreed. do better. And uh, we do have a couple of fine instruments laying around. We do have some. And I, I want to say thanks to a guy named Wayne Baswell, who came up to Groons, who left the six pack for us. Which I did not drink. He was behind my desk for right. four weeks. And a nice card. And he put, he put some money in there. With sweet, that sweet. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, very nice guy. Like the six pack wasn't enough. Yeah. That's sweet, super sweet. 
Amazingly so. Enough That's money for you to buy a sixer of uh, IPA That's or something better than this. No. <laughs> but thank you, Wayne, for being cool. I appreciate it. You know, that's not the first time that somebody left a gift up at the Groons for Larry. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's not the first time. Well, and they always yeah. seem to leave it with me. They always do. And then they I tell me. you about it, and yeah. you just yeah. purposely don't come to pick it up yeah. until yeah. three weeks later. <laughs> hey. All right. I, uh, we'll get into that later. But, you know, remember Corey's story, the heartbreaking story about New, living in New York when he was a kid? Which one? Oh, we all got a God, few. Dude. You're gonna, I, you're gonna pick one of them. Which one? I mean, when you he know, told me the story the first time, I cried. I he literally he teared cried. up. He really did. I, 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 it's the I don't. Th I don't think. I, I don't know if you know the story. You should. You may it. have heard me tell the story. Give but us. Give us the story. Would you? You really want me to? I, it's just the best story ever. It's the. It's not a great it's a, story. It's a human it's, interest it's, story. It's, it's a human interest. Story. If we don't like it, we'll edit it out. You'll edit it out. <laughs> so. Now, what I was going to tell you before, yeah. I'm going to preface this. Mm -hmm. What I was going to tell you before is... Who's the sweet camera person? Mm. Toso, but I'm calling her Zoso. Right, right. We listen Thank to her you. and her and her husband, boyfriend? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> Get over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shoot a little video for us, because we, we forgot our camera stand. That's right. Well, yeah. now we have and something now we have, better. This is better. because This is way better. Way better. Way better. So, so yeah. You were, right. how, old, how old were you? I was probably uh, 12 or 13 yeah. years old. Make it quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was all about a guitar, and that was it. The end. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I know. Go on, yeah, bro. Give us the story. I'm going to give you, I'm I gonna give you the quick, I, I, I am going to give you the quick story, because I don't want to tell the story. I hope I don't cry again. Seriously. Right, now I want to tell the story. I, I want to get into the story, bro. I cried. Right. This is very hyped up. Go for it, man. This got to be serious. I cried everything. I cried everything. I cried everything. I'm emotional. Oh, God. Right, here we go. All right. So I was a kid, and I wanted to. I saved up enough money to buy an electric guitar. That was the whole. Living in New York City. I was living in New York. Okay. At the time. Okay. And uh, so anyway, I decided I had enough money to buy a Stratocaster. Right. So I went to the only music store that I really knew that had a selection yeah. of them, which was Sam Ash. Yeah. Probably shouldn't say the name of the place because they weren't very nice to me. Yeah. But anyway, uh, what so I, what year are we talking roughly? 83, okay. something like that. So I take a bus, yeah. get on a bus. Which is a big deal when you're a little kid. Yeah, it was kind of a, it was yeah. kind of, but, but I knew the bus went right to, right. so the end of where the bus line was, was yeah. where the Sam yeah, Ash yeah, was, yeah, right yeah. across the street. Yeah, yeah. So I go all the way to the end, I get off the bus, I get into the Sam Ash, guy finally comes up to me, I say, I want to, I want to buy a Stratocaster. And he's like, what color do you want? And I said, uh, you know, what do you have? Black, good, right. black, awesome. I could picture you, you're such a cute little kid you were. I was very, yeah, I was very uh, cute. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. but apparently very easy to take advantage okay. of. So, uh, I, I buy it, I buy the guitar. He brings one out, it's a, in a box. He yeah. buys it, gives me gives me the box, I pay for it. How much? I think it was 300 and something okay. dollars. And uh, I get back on the bus, you know. And you were excited. Yeah, I couldn't wait to go home and play it. So yeah. I, I go all the way back home to where, where I lived. I walk from the bus stop, thing under my arm, to my house. I'm psyched. I open it up. I plug it in. I go to tune it up, and I go to play. It's just unplayable, mm. and I, I I can't figure out what's going on with the guitar. I'm trying to play no, like it's buzzing. Strings are laying right on the uh, fingerboard. And I have no idea how to fix this the uh, situation. Lord. So I get I put it back in the box. I get back on the bus. Your your mother didn't even want you to get this guitar, right? Isn't that what you said? Or... No, they didn't really. Okay. okay. They're indifferent, probably. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't even think they had an idea okay. that this yeah. was going to be something that, that okay. was going down. Yeah. But anyway, I get back on the bus. I go all the way back down the bus line to the end of the bus line, yeah. get off the bus, get to the Sam Ash. And uh, I go in, and nobody... I see the guy, but he doesn't want anything you to do with me. Oh, yeah, 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 he's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm waiting around for a while, and it, it, it was it was a long time, and then finally I'm like, uh, hey, can somebody give me a hand here? I just yeah. bought, they, oh, who'd you buy it from? That guy right there. So he comes over, picks up the guitar, he goes, there's nothing wrong with this guitar. Puts it back in the box, walks away from me, and I'm oh. like, there's, but there's... But there's something wrong with this guitar. Oh, no. Hey, how, how old were you? What's probably 13. 13. Yeah. probably like 13 years old. Okay, so, uh, what's that? Now I'm mad. Yeah, yeah. Well... 
<laughs> so I knew that there was another music store, but it wasn't on the same bus line. But I knew I can get from that bus line to the other bus line. And so I go from that bus line to the other bus line and then go back down that road. And there was a music shop there. And I go walking in with this thing and I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I can just sell this guitar oh, and get something else. You know, you just Since, bought. you know, I didn't have any other recourse. I couldn't figure out any other way to do this it. This is like later the same day. Yeah. It's all the same day. Yeah. Uh, this is like now we're in like afternoon. Okay. So, uh, so I get off the bus <laughs> and I go into this music shop. He wants to sell a guitar. It's and the guy, cute. so the guy, you know, He's like, why are you selling this guitar? You just bought this guitar. Yeah. And I was like, I, it's not playing correct. I can't get this thing to play correctly. He's like, yeah, this thing's not going to play. You should bring it back to the to the right. store. And I said, yeah, yeah, I already tried that, man. You know, I didn't just come here. And uh, so he's like, listen, he's like, uh, I got an idea. So he gets on the phone, makes a phone call, comes back. And he's like, listen, man, he's like, go back to the shop. I got a guy for you to speak to. Speak to this guy. He's going to give you your money back. Then come back here, and I'll sell you a guitar that you'll never have a problem with. Huh. And I'm like, all right. So I go back to the store, take the bus, take the bus, take the bus. Guy gives me my money back. Cool. Get back on the bus, take the bus to that line, to the other bus, get back off at this shop. And at this point, it's like evening. Right. And I walk in and he sells me a The Strat. Right. Remember those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just yeah. a Strat on the head. Yeah. It was yeah. Lake Placid Blue. Right. Painted peg head, giant brass hardware all mm -hmm. over everything. And he said to me, uh, when you go home and you plug this in, it's going to be perfect. You're never going to have a problem with this guitar. And as a matter of fact, if you ever want to get rid of this guitar, we have to have a deal. You'll sell it back to me. And then, you know, you could trade up or whatever, but I'll hook you up. Hmm. Go home, Kill. plug it in, never had a problem. Right. Ended up becoming such good friends with this guy yeah. over the years. He actually became my, my mentor yeah. in this business, right. in the music shop business. Um, throughout my late teens, 20s, you know, just always had a relationship with him. I used to sit in his shop where it would just be me and him for hours and hours and hours. And we would just talk about yeah. gear. Yeah. And uh, his name is Gary. And uh, Gary. He, he's still he's still in the business. Yeah. Guy's got to be close to 80, maybe Whoa. even right around there. But he works. Uh. He, he works for a place in New York. He doesn't have his own his own place anymore. <clears throat> um, yeah. But I just recently. Uh, met up with a couple of people who actually work in, for the same company yeah. and totally know him. I actually have another Gary story, but it's going to have to wait for another uh, <laughs> uh, another video. But uh, uh, I didn't cry that time, but I almost did. But uh, anyway, man. everything worked out. Yeah. You know, I I made I made a, a great friend that I had yeah, for years and years yeah. and years, and like I said, he became a mentor, somebody I could trust, and and he never did steer me. Stand Dude, wrong. Do you, we all have memories of yeah. how horrible you get treated when you're a kid at music stores. Oh my god! I that's mean, why they I stole so many you. picks. Yeah, that's like, why. That's the only reason I stole so many picks, bro, from Sam Ash. <laughs> I mean, so, every, why do only... music stores <laughs> treat kids so bad? Dude, if you would have let me play your guitar, I wouldn't have stole like right. really seven picks that day. Right. They just. They just. It's like they. You know, you're probably gonna get in trouble for that. Now. Yeah. Right. Like the library. Yeah. Dude, I used to. I used to get treated so. Badly. I know. Yeah. Like, and so, this was New York too. I remember I had a horrible experience up on Forty. 8th street and oh, you, you make dude. the pilgrimage from from queens where we yeah. lived there had a sam ash over there yeah some of those guys were all right then they were friendly to kids uh 14 13 14 years old but um the but sam we, ash on queens boulevard that's right yeah that, that wasn't a very friendly i know well <laughs> I, I get it man I, and me neither don't get me wrong i, I man I, I probably counted six but seven hundred picks but, from that but right. this, I, yeah. this is the, this is the other thing though <laughs> <laughs> those those guys were only making pretty much only making commission. They what? saw a kid come walking in, they knew they were making no money. Yeah, yeah, I remember I came in and this one dude, he was actually pretty nice, and um, he goes, "What kind of stuff do you like?" And I said, "Metal." And he goes, uh, "Okay." He says, "How much money do you have?" I said, "I got hundred fifty bucks." And he said, "What kind of stuff do you like?" And I said, "Yeah, Metallica, Pantera," and I go through all these awesome things. And he goes, "All right, man." He goes, "For hundred fifty bucks, your best bet is going to be this." 
this Ibanez Jam Pack, which is an acoustic guitar. <laughs> 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 and I said, all right. So I think that for the first couple of years, <laughs> I know, man. So, <laughs> right? Unless so, you're in days of the new. The, so yeah. like for, for two years. Maybe he can spy. For two years, all I would do with, with tall action is lay down, you know, seek and destroy and just all the Metallica stuff. Yeah. So that by the time someone actually, in two years in, maybe three years oh, yeah. in, that someone actually gave me a real guitar, which was like a Squire. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting real here. This is yeah, yeah. the reality of yeah. me being 16. Right. I mean, in Queens. Squires and J Ivan is jam packs. Yeah. That's what we had. So um, by the time I got on the Squire, dude, I, I was killing it. That was great because I was used to doing it out of action that was crazy. I'm like, I can't believe you guys just, this is so easy now. That's yeah. right. So he kind of hooked me up, you, you yeah. know, in a, in a weird way. Yeah, in a weird way. You know, in a super weird way. Uh, so when you got that first real guitar, what girl name did you, did you give it? All right, let's <laughs> talk about that, right, please. You know, before we, before we started this, uh, the, the, this show, we were all chatting here, and I told Tom, I just made the mention of it. I said, you know what? How about this is the show that we talk about some of our pet peeves. Oh. And this is... Is this, is this about music or about... This is about the guitar world. <laughs> okay, guitar and, you know, it's, we're not going to say, like, yeah. Stairway to Heaven, no Stairway. I mean, I, like I get stairway. it. You know, whatever. Stairway. Yeah, I get it. But yeah. there's certain tunes you don't play in a music store. I mean, mm -hmm. get that. Yeah. That doesn't even apply anymore. Nah, Who cares, nah. you know? They, that used to be a As thing. As a matter of fact, if somebody played Stairway in a store now, I think it was really cool. It'd be kind of yeah, cool. Right. But they got to kill it, though. Yeah. They got to yeah, kill it. Yeah. Kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then we were talking about certain things. So I said, I said maybe we should talk about some of those things, our pet peeves, that really get on our nerves in this business with regards to players mm. and, and so on and so forth. And I, and I call dibs on one very specific topic. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. one that drives me crazy every time I hear it, I was never okay with it. This yeah. is not one of those things yeah. where I got, yeah. I turned the corner on this. Yeah. No, from day one, 20 years ago, plus years ago, I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And that is to name your guitar a female name. <laughs> I think people or that do, her or, she. or her, oh yeah, she yeah, plays yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, man. Like, the, you know, it just comes across a certain way, but just really unpack what's she happening. She looks beautiful in that red dress. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. just uh, let's unpack what's happening there. Oh. The two grown dudes are talking, and you know, yeah. check her out, man. Yeah. She's got to, you know, it's just like, dude. Oh. And, I, and after so many years of doing it, like no one got the memo that that was not cool. Does it bother you when people call an old instrument a piece? That's a really nice piece. Oh, a piece. Does that bother you? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Less, less. less. I know what you mean, okay, and it's a right. different thing, but not yeah. as much as this. And like I said, this bothered me from day one. I never yeah. did it. And it's kind of strange to me how, like I said, no one got the memo on this. People do it, like in a matter of fact way. Oh, yeah. Every time I hear it, I'm like, I haven't met one dude yeah. That I hang with that Names think that's are. appropriate. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just I don't know. Maybe at a certain caliber. Are those, are those I'll tell you this though. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. When you get to a point where like you get a burst, some of those bursts have. I I think it came from the the violin world, the Stradivarius yeah. world. Yeah. Those, those <clears throat> instruments actually have names, from what I understand, and they call them by the names. Yeah. And I think that came and and went down and trickled down to like some to burst burst calls, which I could yeah. understand. But when you're talking about like a Mexican telly, no, man. you know, no. 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 I don't know. It's just not my thing. That's well, one of the things that's my pet peeve. I'm claiming yeah, that one. I'm sorry for any one of you homeschoolers that do that. I mean, no disrespect. I just, I just, I, you just hate it. I just don't like it very much. He just hates you know? it. It's not my thing. Not I love like everyone, man. Most well, bursts like that have names, the name either, it's either it it describes the, the physical yeah. feature yeah. or yeah. maybe, yeah. you know, the yeah. a famous owner at some sure. point, Greeny or whatever. Right. Right. That I could, okay, right. that, that I makes sense. I would have more respect if a dude said, "This is my guitar, Ralph." Yeah. yeah. Wow. Ralph yeah. needs a nut. Yeah. Ralph needs a dress. You know, that I, I always. I would have thought of this, great, but honestly, like even Lucille. Okay. Yeah. Like, even Lucille. okay. Yeah. But there's a story behind that. Pearly Gates is cool. Yeah, but Pearly Gates. It's not a name. Not a, it's not a name. Yeah. 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 It's not like. But um, Lucille, and there wasn't even one Lucille. It was just whichever guitar he was playing was right, Lucille. Yeah. Yeah, is that right? Like, I thought he was the one he brought out from the burning. Uh, well, no, I think that, that was the that maybe was the, the original ins Lucille. inspiration to it. But but, from but why not just call every one of them that he loves to it's play? Like, it's like guys who have been married five times, and each time they get married, they change their wife's name to whatever. Oh man, you yeah. know that'd be kind of weird. That is weird. I got to tell you something. Yeah, yeah. No, as a matter of fact, I've talked on the show many times about 
I hate it when people call me Tarzan. And you know what's funny? You said no. You said, comma, of course not. No. Course you said no, yeah, of course not. No, of course just, not. I, I'm yeah. just saying, I said it, you said it before, oh, and yeah. no, it's of a, course it's not. A, it's a major issue. Um, Take care. <laughs> I got, a I got a couple. I got a couple. I got a couple. Yeah, Let's man. Hear I got a lot. Oh, but, come on. But, like, I've already talked about a lot of mine. These guys already yeah, know yeah. a lot of mine. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to get into some new ones that I haven't covered yet. Okay. Uh, how about when you're looking at a Craigslist and, or any kind of something where somebody's selling something and they'll say, they'll say like, uh, let's say like, uh, you know, some off brand guitar and they'll say real Les Paul killer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real Les Paul killer. That's a killer. good one. That's a good one. Oh, the killer. Yeah, oh, I get dude. it, man. Oh man. That, I thought you were gonna go. Uh, I thought you were gonna go to Axe. Oh, dude. Uh, like, that, like. Uh, uh, oh, come on, man. Is that worse I, or better? I say Axe. I, I'm cool with Axe. Are you cool with Axe? I'm cool yeah. with Axe. Yeah. Maybe I mean, that's I, a, that's one of those things. Like, I can never use that. I can tell that you're not cool with that. I can't do it. I can't say you're not cool with it. I would be totally uncool with it, but I, I say, I say, I always say things like. If I'm playing a piano, I'll say that's not my main axe. I Got say it. that. I say that. Got All right, that's that's, but that's yeah. a little different. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Semantics. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying about yeah. the, you know, the less yeah. ball oh, killer. The, the that's less that's ball killer. Or, yeah, or like some bullshit amp. They'll call it like a, you know, a Marshall killer. You know. Oh god. Probably not. Oh, right. dude. Well, what about the whole the whole no. rare thing? Well, yeah, like I got like, this today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Hey, I, I got a '74 Les Paul rare. Rare, right? Yeah. Like, rare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. George got me on that years ago. As opposed ago. to desirable, right? Yeah. George, right, George yeah. got me or, on that years ago. Or valuable. Yeah. Or they made shit tons of yeah, them, yeah, yeah. but Hardly I really rare. want you to buy this no, one. Right. So. He, he said he, George's line, even even like 20 years ago, was, "Well, hemophilia is rare." Would you? You'll see ads on eBay like 1957 Stratocaster Sunburst Rare. Yeah, really. I mean, they only made eight million fifty seven straps. <laughs> like, oh, really? I mean, if it was a custom color, yeah, but not a Sunburst one. <laughs> but how about this one? Uh, here's another weird one. Uh, I've been getting this a lot lately. Uh, I don't know where this word came from, but it needs to go away. Let's hear it. Uh, People will say things like, "Oh, that's a cool guitar you're playing there, Tom. You ought to add that to your quiver." Oh, like Jesus a quiver. Christ! Like a quiver. Of that's arrows. not a thing, what? is it? That's a thing. A quiver no. of arrows. People say that. That's terrible. That is what terrible. Is, yeah. that? No, I've never heard that. I, dude, I've been hearing that a lot. Of I haven't heard it either, but it's not that bad. It's bad. It's, it's bad, not that bro. bad, dude. It's, bad. it's not, not an that elf. Bad. Come on. What does a quiver even mean? What is this? It's, it's just like your arsenal. Your arsenal, your arsenal, man. Your, your it's your arsenal, arsenal of, uh, yeah. of, of, of bullets. See, it's like it. the golf. The I don't. Golf I don't dig it either. Yeah, I get golf yeah. bag. Yeah. I want to hear. I want to hear. Dude, uh, in the, dude, in the amp world, I can't even imagine. Okay. Oh, dude, I have so many questions. Like, you've torn apart so many amps. So we, I, I, I always laugh because every time I talk to you, back in the old days when you used to repair, you'd be pulling apart an amp and like you just look at how bad people's work. Botched repair work. Oh, it was better than fifty percent of the work I did oh over the years was just fixing other people's. Just oh, hack, man. total hack shit. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Pet peeve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you read some stuff on a forum and you 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 know or you buy a kit or whatever and that stuff's fun. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. But you know. Then two years later, you're starting an app company. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's, that's a great one. That's a great one. And you know what's funny that's about a that great is, one. Yeah. I can think of a, I can think oh, of no, a that's real. company oh, right there on top of not... my head that that is right up that, yeah. going right down that path. Dude, yeah. everyone that owns a soldering iron has an app company now. Yeah, that's true. It's and true. I'll, it's, it's no, I'll, I'll tell you a story. I, get, I, I want to tell you a story yeah. that's uh, that's. That's pretty awesome, and I can't believe I want to tell the story on, on, on <laughs> live TV. Well, whatever, you know yeah. what I'm saying, because... You can edit it So out. check it out. I, We're going to edit it no, out. Edits. No, 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 no. And this is, this is to go along with your pet peeve, right? So check this out. I went to go give a, a lecture at the Asia Symposium, yeah. which is in East Stroudsburg, and this was like six, seven years ago. And I figured I would give this lecture maybe eight years ago. Uh, and I said I wanted to give this lecture on what I thought was a super important topic, which was the need for an industry standard, mm -hmm. right? And I went out and I gave this lecture. It was one of the, it was you know one of the later in the afternoon ones. It was a good one. 
And I look out and everyone was there, man. Roger Sadowski, Frank Ford, Dan Earlywine. All oh, everyone was there. I'm ready to go and give this hour and a half lecture to these heavy cats and, and, and we're going in. So b before that happens, I get there first. There's the podium there, and this one young cat comes in and, and, and he says to me, Hey man, you're 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 Greg Boros. I'm like, Yeah, bro. And he says, Man, he goes, um, I live in Texas, man. And he said, you, uh, you make a lot of pick cards for me, bound pick cards. I used to make them for everyone. So I, there was a point in period of time where people were selling my pick cards and they weren't making them. I was making everyone's pick cards back in the day. Other uh, dealers were selling them. Like for L5s and shit. L5s, yeah, bound right, pick cards, right, L5s, right, right, Super 400s, right. all of these. I was doing all this work. A lot of my, my, my business was actually sending them to dealers and they put an upcharge on it right. and sell it. But this cat was one of those guys that actually... Um, that actually purchased a number of pick cards from me. And he was hungry, he was a newer cat, he was still going whatever. So then everyone crowds into the class and and I begin to lecture and I, it didn't go well. It, my lecture didn't go well because this was maybe 10, eight, 10 years ago, people weren't ready to hear a 30 year old kid educating a 60 year old right. dude that's been in the game a long time of, of the importance of, of, of creating standard for this. Right. I had the body of appraisals behind me, so I know the destruction that repair people do. Right. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the end. Right? Right. So we're going, I'm kind of, I, I had a, a, some words with Mr. Ford, respect. Dan Earlywine was great. Ultimately, everything worked out all right. And this cat that came in in the beginning of the class raises his hand and I call on him. And he said to me in front of everyone, he said, well, Greg, I, I disagree with some of the things you're saying. Uh, because Frank made a point about X, Y, and Z. And dude, it took everything in me not to look at the guy and be like, what are you talking about? Can I do your work for you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, what are you talking about? I do your work for you, and you're going to have to. You're going to raise your hand. I'm going to call on you. Why didn't you just say that? I, I alluded to something along those lines, yeah. but, I, you know, like I said, man, it was a weird away game I was playing yeah. because I was going from right. runes. And yeah. I show up. Call. Can't call. Dude, I show up, and it's coming from a place ten years ago where you get into a place depending on who the main cat is in that area. It's just kind of like you see aware of you. You got to kiss the ring or whatever right. it might be. I had my whole body of work in Nashville even ten years ago. I was banging hard. Right. I, I, that wasn't how I was going to go greet the Pope. Right. You know, I had a lecture. I thought that if you were bringing it, you'd be having a lecture too. Yeah. That's how you bring it. So. You know, it was really cool that everyone was yeah, in the audience, was... but this kid got me because, in, it, you know, knowing his history, knowing everything, him thanking me in the middle of the class. Right. Through your actually, life. You know, I said, like, yeah. All right. So what did you say? I, at the time, yeah. I, 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 I made commentary and he felt weird about it and I get it. But I still wanted to tell the story because he's probably out there watching. Good. Good. And what's up, dude? <laughs> I'm just saying, that was one of my pet peeves, and you can understand. Well, I'm tired of your own enough to hold the phone. I, I'm done. But respect. I, you know, I thrift, so I have really good um, arm strength. Because I've done that. I have about 20 minutes to hold that thing. Shot. Do you have what, do you got? what do you got? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, pet peeve? Yeah, I yeah. don't have any pet peeves. Like Come that. on, I don't. Oh, the old Come on, yes. I really don't, man. No? I, I don't. I, I agree. I think that naming naming uh, your car or your guitar a woman's name is, you know, not something I would yeah, do. You're just piling on his thing. What no, it just uh, that's a good one. I'll tell you this. I you am what, so satisfied in my you, life. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll put one. You're 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 in sales every single day. Yes. I'm gonna make mention of this. This is a really really taboo subject. Oh, good. But I'm gonna make mention of it anyway because it's something that needs to be talked about. You know, and and it's one of those things where like, you know, in, in this world there's so many different levels of guitar um, playing. There's intermediate. There's beginner. There's all sorts of things in all sorts of age groups. Right, so to think that a 14 year old kid might not be the best player, well, best way of looking at it because that 14 year old could be really good, yeah. and then a 50, 60 year old man could actually be, or a female could be actually be a, a beginner guitar player, a learner in, right. in that way. So, and I also know the reason behind it, but you know, a lot of music stores don't operate in a, in a way that is up and up, you know. So, one of my pet peeves is when it's an obvious technique related issue on, on the playability of a guitar when oh, it's yeah. obviously one of those things it's like it's your fingers bro but you can't really you mean, sit you mean this greg this g chord <laughs> every time i play this g chord it's 
It's like, it's like yeah. some of that. This, thing's, this guitar is fucked up. The, the, the white knuckles. And then I try to play the C, and it's dude, that's a return. <laughs> and then when I play this bar chord, it's, it's like, you hear that? You hear how messed up that is? So, so what a person, a person, a person a per, when, when that happens, it's almost like you got to tap dance a little bit because if that person might be really proud of their guitar playing yeah, or, wanna, or they're really you cool you don't want to do that but but you know when it's an obvious thing you could say and you say maybe it's a technique related right, thing or maybe you can unpack it you or... know it's it's hard to do that i had i actually i'll tell a, a real real quick story um no you got an opinion <laughs> no he never said i was didn't inspired have an opinion. <laughs> yeah. he said he didn't have a pet peeve He's this isn't a pet peeve oh, yeah, this is just something i noticed <laughs> yeah what I noticed was there's three guys in this room that are ganging up on me. No, I, I noticed uh, at, at one point, uh, kind of to what you were saying, I was dealing with a guy and he wanted to buy a Les Paul. Right. I had like 40 Les Pauls to show right. this guy and every single one, he's like, man, it's just, this is a great Les Paul, but it's just not playing in tune. Mm -hmm. Everything is yeah. playing sharp. And I saw his knuckles were actually white. Right. He was yeah. squeezing oh, so yeah. hard right. Right. that he was pulling everything sharp. Oh, and so finally, you know, it, it, it was difficult for me to, to kind of figure out how to say it. And then after like the 20th one, I, I just said to him, man, you were squeezing that thing so hard, your knuckles are white, man. Right. And you know, he was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. He didn't, he just didn't realize. You know, you know, dude, you know what's crazy? I'm gonna draw a parallel to that. Oh, dude. Here's one of those things. You ever you ever heard somebody play the guitar? I always go back to one of the hardest riffs, in, in my opinion, ever in the history of Evers is Back in Black, yeah. ACDC. Yeah. Everyone says that they can play it. Dude, can you play Black in Black? Back in Black? Oh, yeah, bro, I got it. No, you don't, because when you play it, it doesn't sound like it. Yeah. Everyone says they have it. No, you don't. Yeah. Right? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Can you play Back in Black? Sure. And then they do it, and it's horrible. See, there you go. It's yeah, nothing like uh, it. What do you yeah, mean? You know, it's the thing. It's just the not yeah. knowing of it. You, a, you, I, yeah. not a little while ago, a couple of years ago, you and I had a conversation similar to this, and there was somebody else involved mm. about a Stone Temple Pilots song that is completely played wrong all the time. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And I don't know if you remember this do, this I conversation. Yeah, I do. And it was interesting because, as you and I were talking about it. Yeah. And we, we were and and we were and I was actually shown how people play it wrong and really what right, the right, right way is. Right. And I was thinking to myself, man, that's that that's fucking great, man. More people should know this. I I know that this is kind of on the DL, yeah. but and then I said to myself, fuck, I play it wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, dude, there's always very minute idiosyncratic things in in everybody. Like Dean has sent. A couple of videos because I just think it's hilarious to see actually the guy that did it. And you showed me the video, yeah, he'll, and he'll I said, that's where I learned that you like my way. Yeah, like, I asked after him, you met, that was like yeah, the first like, thing I you asked. Said, yeah, say, like, how do you play? It? Yeah, how do you play Sour Girl? How do you play? Yeah, Flush? yeah, that's cool. How do you play Interstate Love? And he sends these little videos. Oh, that's cool, man. And it's like, and I there's little things in there that that I've never heard. Right, the, right, and of course, but that that's that that's not that goes for everybody. Yeah, nobody like. It's very difficult for somebody to play anything exactly like the original. Uh, understood, but the point it's I was difficult. making with yeah. Back in Black yeah. is not even being aware that what you're playing oh, right. doesn't sound like oh, that. Totally. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, disconnection yeah, totally. I was trying to make yeah. between... Yeah, but that's the same you know, thing with like Plush yeah, or yeah. any of those things. Yeah. People are playing that wrong, thinking yeah. that that sounds exactly like it's supposed yeah. to sound. You know, yeah. I, I remember uh, Dean did say something really funny one time uh, that really made me laugh. He said that, that back in, you know, when those songs were being played by every bar band in the sure. world, him and his brother would always get a kick out of sitting in the back of the bar and, and hearing how bad everybody fucked up all the chords, you know, because they, <laughs> they purposely wrote those really cool chords into all the songs. Be you and know? beautiful, They're, beautiful, beautiful and, uh, chords, yeah. And like, you know, it, it's like funny to hear everybody butcher them because it's like, it's not easy right you know, it's, it's yeah, i think yeah, stp yeah. is 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 some of the most deceiving no, the guitar amazing. playing period yeah, and yeah. i think so, and i think period, it, it super hard i think it becomes one of those things where he's such an underrated guitar player because people think it's so easy to play that stuff yeah. man no, that sir. stuff is that no, stuff sir. is hardcore that is, that you, is know, you know like, bones, i'll man. say this like like i'll be on sessions all the time right and um just 
Anyway, this this uh, this this kind of shit happens all the time, and and this is when I realized how difficult it is to really mimic somebody. Like there'll be like an artist come in, like like oh we got this guy from Australia, he plays acoustic, right? He comes in, you know, and all right guys, here's what I'm about to tell him to go, and that you know they'll he'll start playing some acoustic riff, but the guy's not really a session player, and uh, but the riff might be a little complicated, and he almost can play it, but he wrote it, it's a good riff. But he can't really nail it in the pocket. So the, then the producer will say, "Will say, man, can one of you guys just play the riff? Because because it got it would take all day yeah. to get. But then somebody else tries to play the riff, and they can never make it sound the way that dude oh, had it sound. It. Yeah, it's a too clean you know, version. Yeah. You or, know, or, that's an interesting. That's an dude, interesting. So like, I I just I, that's when I started realizing, wow, everybody. What, I'm not saying it's better guitar playing, or worse. But it's just really hard to copy someone exactly. Like, yeah. It really is like, like, because there's pressure it, issues. Is that only in in copying him on guitar? What about copying the vocal, vocal style? Vocal, sure, you, got, you guys are really like, yeah. dialed yeah. in. Like, like yeah. the conversation really went in a yeah. funny way because you guys are talking about like the last whatever it might be of copying somebody. Yeah. There, there is there's something that's convincing as hell. Well, oh sure. What about yeah. the the, the yeah. rift to black, right. black and back in black? You I've know, never that's, heard that's... a convincing version. Right, right. By a person. Okay. That's why right. I make mention of that riff. Right. And that's why I point to that right. because most people the answer should be, nah man, that's a weird one. Yeah. yeah. I'll give it a shot, but right, it's right. not right. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, but it, but then there's also that thing where yeah. you know, you get the flavor. You the get the flavor fun. of yeah, it. Flavor's fine. Right. I want to hear what this Marshall amp sounds right. like with this SG. Right. I want to get the flavor of the but ACDC. I want right. to make sure that this thing is going to sound like that. Right. It doesn't have to be perfect in that no. sense. But in a bar band sense, it should yeah. be pretty close. Because yeah. we're just trying to drink. And it's acceptable. Drink, get late. It's it should be ex yeah, yeah. It's yeah. acceptable. Yeah, that's yeah no, that's cool. Look, Give us a soundtrack for drinking get late. You know, I, I don't know if I ever told <laughs> you about <laughs> this. This is kind of funny. Uh, actually, a, a friend of ours that we both know. Uh, he was, uh, there, there was this thing that I had played on and he was actually doing the tour Yeah. and he's a cat, yeah. a friend of ours, right. who remained nameless, but he was doing the tour and there was this one particular song that he had to play live that I'd, I'd played on the record yeah. and he calls me and he's like, Hey, that open G thing you played on, blah, 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 how were you doing that? It's like impossible. It's and not I had open to... G. Right. Yeah, right. Well, it, it, yeah, yeah, it wasn't open G. Yeah, right. right but it yeah, sounded right, right. Like right. if you just listen to it, it's right. a no-brainer. Like, well, yeah, it's right. open G. Right. You know, just classic right. like Stonesy open totally. G yeah. stuff. But it totally wasn't. Right. I'm just like I'm sure this move. One of those. No, moves. no, no. Yeah, it was yeah. it was actually a, a capo okay. on yeah. the fifth fret, and I'm playing like A uh, shapes. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the the sound like it. Yeah. It exactly like it. And, but to play that in actual open G, which was what he was trying to right, do, because he right, just assumed it was right, open G, and it's fucking impossible. Yeah. And yeah. they're doing rehearsals for the tour, and he's like, how did you do that? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a stretch, man, yeah. I know. And I let him do the whole tour. <laughs> Playing it so that you basically way. Just it's impossible. Yeah, 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 later on, I'm like, oh no, it's just a capo oh, here. And, he, and you can play it with like one finger. And he's right. like, you fucker. Right, man. <laughs> you don't have a single pitch either. Come on, man. Don't be all crazy. I, I probably have. I probably uh, have a bunch, but I, I don't know if, if it's going to be. Right. My pet peeves I, are going to be something that somebody else. Can I have yours would... by proxy? Can I have, can I have yours? Do of it. course. How about this? When people. Go out of their way to put all the screw pole pieces in a hummer in the same, same direction. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Dude, yes, that's, yeah, that's a thing. thing. That's that is absolutely a thing. A thing. Is it really a thing? Yep. If I, I ever, swear to God, it if is. I ever catch somebody doing that, I would choke them out. Yeah, you cannot do that, dude. I did. Well, it's you, it's, I, I, it's I, also I, 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 along yeah. those same lines. Oh, dude. You've seen it, Greg. Yeah, it's, yeah, but I can't. I can't. I. What about the guy? Who I can't imagine the guy going back there. No, they do it. What about the? They How many it. times have you seen my guitar's not playing in tune and you look at the saddle pieces and they're, and they're all, all straight, even? Yeah. Right. They're all exactly oh, even. God, oh, yeah. Saddle pieces are even, man. No, I got that. Oh, I got that. No. I got one for you. Come on, hit me. Middle pickup. Middle pickup in general. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. strat, okay. Yeah, right. But who needs a yeah. third humbucker? You know what's really funny but about these two? Uh, the. 
this is such a sad thing because these guitars are amazing and if they would have just wired them so that all in in the middle all three pickups are in phase and on it would have been great or but they refused to do it right. what about in the middle if Right. It was your middle pickup, and you had a dedicated volume knob right. for just that, There's so you can blend thing, it. But really, in in reality, what it is, is these two pickups out of phase with each other is what you get in the middle. Stock wiring. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it right. sounds terrible. Right. And they could have accomplished the same thing with two pickups, right. and then you don't have this giant pickup in the middle. Right. It's pitiful. I mean, yeah. it's it's yeah, I get it, man. I mean, and it's what? just it, it's hard to play I mean, around it. Oh, dude, like it's yeah. just in the way. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird though the way the middle pickup is actually in the way. It's oh, totally in the now, way. Now, I can make a list of about a half a dozen things that that the greatest guitar company in the history of the world did that were head scratchers. You know how much I love Gibsons. Okay. I'm a huge fan, right? That's a head scratcher. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a series of things that, that they did on the guitars, and I'm the biggest Gibson fan that ever lived, that were just absolutely, what the hell was that? The side to side vibrola on the yes. 61 mm -hmm. SG, the Veritone in general. Period. Uh, the stereo guitar. Like the Veritone? Dude, the stereo guitar <laughs> in general. Yep, I get it. Um, dude, how about the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest problem of any was the uh, Frequencer tailpiece on any on any Epiphone solid body. Oh, yeah. Absolutely ruined the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes it absolutely unplayable with zero right. break behind the right. bridge. Right. And you can't get rid of it. That's right. Uh, there were some bad designs, oh, man. Oh, some yeah, bad yeah. designs, man. Uh, but aside from that, the greatest guitars ever made. Mm -hmm. The working shit. The, the The playability, the, the wood. The, what about the coolness yeah. factor of the, the coolness three... Factor. Of the three humbucker oh, yeah. les pauls i mean yeah. you, you gotta you gotta give it that right oh dude it's i love them i it's, it's, uh, personally not, not from a player standpoint just sex. from just from just from an aesthetic sex. standpoint you're yeah. looking at this thing you're, you know, you're gonna uh, tell me this doesn't look badass no, you'd rather have two pickups yeah yeah oh, me too you know what's crazy man you know I, what I, what but I, I don't think that the three pickup thing looks that much sexier than two personally it's got its own thing going on. It's cool. You, it looks big and beefy and mean. I mean, it just looks mean. It looks. What if, it looks like it's going to tear the face off. Fan. <laughs> That's what what you, thank you, Tom. Yeah, I, poor kids, right? <laughs> no, I love Frampton. All right, so dig. Um, I didn't bring up. Here's Frampton a question. No, purpose. I know. I love fucking Frampton's man. Okay, dude. Here's a question. Okay, okay. let's just say. Yep. This was a '56 okay. or '55, and it had the original staple. Magnet, El yep. Nico, and it had a P90 mm -hmm. bridge, right? We had that guitar. Yep. Original. Yep. Eight out of ten condition. Okay? What's it worth right now? 40? 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay, if we took that guitar out of the original case, yep. took it to the shop over there, routed it, put two gold cover original PAFs <laughs> in it. Oh, my God, yeah. Would it still be worth as much? No, no. Yes, it would. No. Somebody would still pay fifty for it. Mm, it's no. an upgrade. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. It's not a chop. It's an upgrade. Oh, you and but I. It is you so know what? Not... You and I have had this conversation before. You know what it is, man? Not at fifty. At twenty, I'd say yeah, because a quality instrument is a quality instrument. See, that's at what 50, everybody wishes it was. At fifty, it's it's at fifty is collectible status. Like it's, it's collectible. It's finite. And when you do that, it's not finite. So technically, the collectible value is down. Whether somebody's willing to pay for it, I think it's only relative to the sum of money that it is. And, and I think who 20 wants is to? That. And who wants to uh, invest that? This, and this is why it's not fifty. Not I, for you, that one. You wouldn't though. You, 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 I don't think you would. Be the coolest you're removing. You're removing wood. You're removing uh, wood. It's gone. This makes it a better guitar. And it you're doesn't putting matter it about it. it Dude, we're talking about okay. value. Wait, pause. We're not talking about. <laughs> are you telling me that, I would chop it. that that a custom with a P90 and a staple yeah. is a better guitar than three PAFs? No, 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 we're no, not no, talking no, three. No, 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 he's, he's talking about he's, he's talking about right taking that guitar, yeah. 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 No, 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 pulling no. out the P90s and the staple, yeah, routing it and putting two PAFs. Two PAFs. Badass original. Two PS. Yeah. Two PS. Yeah. Yeah. Replacing yeah. 
Repla- replacing the staple, you, replacing the P90s with PAFs. 50. 50. 50, it's still bro. Worth okay, it's yeah, still worth yeah. Not 20. If, if it was done properly. All I'm saying it'll is It'll be that, a great player. Could you imagine the disappointment on your face? Yeah. Dude, could you imagine the disappointment mm-hmm. on your face if you dropped it off with the repair guy and oh, gave dude. it back to you with uh, three pickups? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You mean you didn't yeah. want it like yeah. a... Yeah. Uh, I made it mean. I made it mean. <laughs> it's aesthetically <laughs> awesome. Oh, you know, <laughs> that's that's actually a total game to Because I, I yeah. thought you were talking. No, 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 we're not no, yet. I, mean, okay. I, lo- not I, I love a stock fifty-five with the El Nico. I love me too. I love, yeah, yeah, you, you, you would never fan. find you would never but, find a repair person to do it for. You. Sure that's no, not not a quality one. Oh, you look at me like that, bro. You would never tell me his name. You would never tell me his name, though. Greg Boros is his name. Nope. No, he would never do that. <laughs> no. Nope. His name is Greg Boros. <laughs> I'll do a lot for you. No. And as soon as this camera turns off, we'll time? figure it out. <laughs> you remember that time? Oh, God. One of my favorite memories. Oh, dude. Do you remember this? Mm. Um, uh, I ended up with a black, factory black, 59, 355. Yes. I know all about it. 345. 345. 345. Yeah. And it belonged to Brian Sutton's father, and uh, it had some shit done to it, mm-hmm. but it was original factory black. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was trying to restore it back to original condition, and put the PAFs in it, got rid of the Veritone, mm-hmm. got rid of it, because, you know, because yep. I hate Veritone. And you wired it up, and you were like, you got done with it, and you got, you were doing all that electronics work inside those F holes on a 330, like building a ship in the bottom. Oh, yeah. And you said, you go, dude, this is the hardest <laughs> job ever. And I go, dude, it's killer. I took it home for a couple of days and I brought it back to you the next day. And I was like, man, I really feel like the bridge pickup should be the neck pickup. And the neck pickup should be the bridge pickup. And you were like, you what? And I was like, and you did it. And you did it. Of course. You did it for me. And it ended up being better like that. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that to make myself feel better. No, I get it. But, man. Did you leave enough slack? On the oh, bridge dude. pickups. Let me tell you, man. I'm sure. I'll tell you this, To get bro. to the neck. My biggest pet peeve in the repair world, I got a lot of them, <laughs> but on a 335, I'll tell you, my biggest pet peeve is that if you look in the F-hole and you see the wire, you didn't do something right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You didn't do it right. There's a very specific way to, right. to, to loop it in that makes it a beautiful look where you look through the F hole. You don't yeah, see you gross can't, wires see, on the you inside. You can't see any of the guts. And, and, and see, that's one of those things you have to have show experience in doing. Show yeah, right? Show yeah, check out. Look right over the top. Right? Yeah. Right? Right over there. This is stacked over to the side. Yeah. But if this pick card was gone, there would be nothing exposed. That's a beautiful thing. And it's because of the way the... The, the harness is run around it, which is yeah. the same way you feed it in through the uh, bridge pickup. This cavity. is uh, the Boss Man Our Box guitar. Our yep. Box, yep. And uh, it's for sale. It is it for is. sale. It's a. It's got. A, it feels like a sixty. Is it a sixty? It's a fifty nine. It's a. It's a late. It's a late fifty nine. Fifty nine. Feels feels very sixty. I know, right? but it's a late fifty nine. You know, three thirty fives didn't like. You know what's really weird? We can chat about this too, and I'd love to hear you chime in on this. Like when people talk about some versus less balls from 58 to 60, it's not a 58, 59, 60. It's, it's transitional. You have 58, and then at some point it turns 59 ish, and mm-hmm. that could be in 58. And then it turns 60 ish. 60 ish. And then they stop making right. them. Right. So, uh, you know, you can have a 59 with a, with a, not a 59, but you can have a 58 less pole with more 59 profiles. Sure. It, because it depends on what yeah, they were. The they didn't, they but, didn't stop right. the first of the year right. and say, no. new for 1960, right. shitty neck profile. Right. But 335. <laughs> <laughs> but 335. New for mid 1965. Ruined guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> rolled it out that damn. One and a half. Way to make a splash. Made, but 335s yeah. didn't, didn't, they're not the same. They're not 58, the same. 335 and a 58 and a 6335. They didn't well, go by the, the th- first neck rule. Right? Think think right. about that's something. In, right. Think about know, you know the 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 way that that the 335s how they progressed mm-hmm. in 58 with the unbound neck. Yep. And that's clearly their foray into making this model. Oh, yeah. They got into late late 58 with a with a bound neck. Yep. Later 58 with the 59 spec neck. That's right. Then you have your 59. Yeah. Right. 
Then you had your late 59 with your 60 but you would spec never, now. What I'm saying is you would never feel a 59. You would never feel a 59. Uh, three, uh, you would never feel a 1959 Les Paul with a thin neck. That's fair. That's fair. No. That's fair. No, no. Because so then why does that one have one? That's fair. Because, because they follow different orders. Exactly. Different orders. You're with me, but, right? But, of this, course. But this is the one thing that you and I have, have talked just about right, by over the way. and over it's and cool. over again. Really. Is really great. Yeah. Yeah. The guts, yeah, the guts yeah. of the guts of this, like, so this, what we have right here, what we have right here, that was in that was in a Les Paul, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, so why is a fifty nine Les Paul price wise where a fifty nine Les That's Paul is, question. and why is a fifty nine three thirty five where it is? How many Les Pauls did they make in fifty nine? How many did they did yeah. they ship, and how many of these did they That's ship? Right. That's There's right. a that's a fucking big number difference. Two hundred nine right blonde dot necks ever made right. of all years. Right. So, right. so what we're talking right. about though mm -hmm. is, yeah. to, let, let's say fifty eight through sixty three thirty fives, and fifty eight through sixty. You don't have to yell. Bless Paul. Don't have to yell. I'm getting very excited. You don't have to yell. You, 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 you Speaking quiet is one of my pet peeves. <laughs> Speaking quiet. Is one of my I know we don't have mics, Corey, <laughs> but you don't have to yell. <laughs> Well, first of all, I need you I'm to on your settle bad, down. I'm on it. your bad side. I want to make sure you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, this is my bad side. Uh, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, could you pan around and show the people? Look at this amazing collection of catalogs in this room. I mean, this has got to be, what, a million dollars worth of catalogs? I, I don't know I mean, about the price, but there's a lot. This. You can find everything here from old magazines. I noticed to, up there in that top center, Garnet. Look at the Garnet with the, with the spiral. See it? Yeah, man. The Garnet catalog. You go look. I saw that. Dude. I saw that. This is amazing. I'm glad we're in this room. This is called the Well, you see room. right up, right up here, but it used to right be behind me. me. You yeah. see these? We got, we got all the Gibson catalogs starting in the 20s. Oh, this is, sure. I mean, every time... Gibson twenty seven. Yeah, I mean the thirties. This is the this is 30s. the 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 mecca for reference. That's right. It is. That's right. We come in. We come in here for everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you're saying that they don't have this? They didn't have this at World Music. <laughs> <laughs> we had one file. We had one file. Of World Music. You know why what? You guys probably. Why are you making so much fun, dude? Man? You know why, why you guys don't make, I, don't hug me, man. You know what they probably had though was a groom guy. We did have a groom guy. Yeah, Everyone has a groom guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, that helps quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, groom guy. Yeah, that helps. Everyone's got a mm -hmm. Yeah. So, dude, this guitar is fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. That is killer. That's the one. Right That's there. the one. It really, really. Boy, is. I wish I could afford that. Yeah. I'd buy that. It's a super late '58 with mm. 59 pro, uh, specs, and that is clean. Does this sound like it looks yeah. and plays? Does it really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it pretty good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I plugged this thing in the other day. I was talking to Alex. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, look at that board. I had to. I had to give him look the, at that the whole skin. Board. Oh, I yeah. plugged the it's, thing in and I was like, "It's hey, just man. right." Zoom in yeah, on that really. board. Look at that board. See, the older I get, all I care about is what the boards look like. Hmm? Dude, I'm so, I'm so obsessed with what the boards look like. I get it. You know what I hate? Is, is those pale Brazilian oh, boards. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. They're almost impervious to oil yeah. to darken them up. Uh, and they always have this, like... Uh, you've had a few guitars know, like that. And it, I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's like pale. Dude, Gorgeous. Board on that 61 tell that I just brought it. Remember that? It looks like swirling chocolate. Did you see it? The 61 60, tell. Yeah, blonde 61 tell mm. I just got it. No, I didn't see uh, it. I showed it to you the other day. You probably forgot. It was in the yeah. trunk. It was in the trunk. We were getting bit Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't... Uh, I didn't uh, oh, this is a fine example. I didn't take a metal photo. Crazy. That's a that's a killer guitar. Hey Tom, that's a great guitar. Yes, I'll take Can it. Can you spot me eighty five K? Sure, you got it. Thanks, dude. That thing is awesome. Hey, but we'll just put it on the count for you, brother. On Tom's account, please. Yeah, <laughs> on, on who's? Yeah. Did you ever flip the um, <laughs> the rings on the neck pickup yeah. to to make them a little more even? Well, yeah, here's the, yeah, man. But here's the thing. I've always thought that there was a natural position for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't like it slanted up well, towards, a lot of people uh, towards the fingerboard? A lot of people flip them. Yeah. No, no, I know yeah, they do, yeah, but yeah. I'm just curious what your preference is. Well, it depends on the scoop, you know? Like, if it goes in the scoop, it kind of should be wedged up on the way out. Right. Kind of like this. 
But if it looks funny, obviously it's going to go back to that stagger pattern. You know, I don't know if people understand really what you're saying, but you can show them. Because I think this it way is the right It does not make your I ass like, look big. <laughs> I like the way this looks. So this is pretty. Where this comes up and this comes down, so it's almost like a V shape in the middle. Right. And I mean, that's, that's like continuity for me. Right. But I've also noticed, so I, I guess to answer your question, I yeah. half flip them at times. Okay. And um, so here's the thing that, I, that, that you run into when you have something like this is it sits goofy after you do a fret job and the angle is low like on a 58. It fits goofy, so you actually have to pull the ring and the pickup when you pull the frets to do the dress. When you put everything back together, sometimes you put it back in that wedge shape, it becomes a little goofy because you actually took a little material off, so you turn that ring back around. And in that case, it helps quite a bit. So I have done that, mm. but it's not like one of those things. I, the, the shallower the angle, the more likely mm. you're gonna need to. But I from guess, an, an a, kind of from thing. an aesthetic standpoint, that's though, a, you like it, like, like yeah, yeah I, okay. course, every single Good. time. Let's talk However, about this. if it doesn't work, I'm not going to try to force that aesthetic. You know, Let's right? talk no, about I this. Understand that. Yeah. What is your favorite of all the amazing old eras of Gibson knobs? What's your personal favorite? That the, right there. Yeah, black me too. That right there, man. Yeah, dude. Me too. Tall boys. I, sh I sure, I yeah. sure like those early sixties. Like on a fifty-three, like on a fifty-three, yeah. Paul. Like yeah. on a sixty-three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. those yeah. big yeah. amber. Yeah, right. Like the barrel no, style. Like fifty-two. You like fifty-two? Yeah. Like late, late though. The, yeah, the, yeah, the taller yeah. ones. You know what's the best knobs out there, man? The best ever. Those Gretchen. beautiful. Gretchen, and, no, they had them what for Gretchen, six months. Gretchen, Gretchen, yeah, pretty bad. Is awesome. the, the the baby knobs, the Fender super early strap baby knobs. What about, oh, yeah. what about the metal yeah. skirt like, with the super yeah. short skirt? Oh right, kind of right, goes right. Up. That was yeah. a good looking knob, man. Yeah, now the yeah. skirt became bigger. <laughs> Always smaller the skirt. Always <laughs> not the self. Do we know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's and you know what? Movie. And it figures. Yeah. It figures. He's you're a bad influence on him. <laughs> oh no! These, that that there's a subject that would only happen upstairs in the room. That's no place else. All right. Um, you don't like the reflector tops? I love reflector Ooh. tops. I just said I love. He was just them. saying. I love, yeah. I love okay. gold reflectors and black. Those, those, those are my favorite. But Gretsch knobs. Gretsch knobs. Gretsch knobs. Just Gretsch ass. period. Gretsch, oh, Gretsch dude, with a G with the arrow. Yeah, yeah, the G, yeah. the arrow oh, G yeah. ones. Those things are. That's, dude. And yeah. sometimes they have that little jewel, you know, oh, with the little oh, jewel. Yeah. How about Those things are fucking jewel. so bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, here it goes. Yeah. I don't know. I think it might have been Bakelite. It was that brown that Gibson made when they had the Charlie Christian yeah, pickups in the red. earlier 150s and 300s. Yeah. Those are right. So, so you know we just we just we just got in. What is this? It's Bakelite. It's, it's Bakelite. Okay. And the they use those on like it. the EH 150 yeah. lap steels, man. That's Dude, those are what's up, man. And they're flat. They're like the knob of knobs. Dude, that's what's up. They're like crushed cupcake knobs Dude. almost yeah yeah they're yeah. like crushed down and they almost look like like they were taller and somebody went like that, that before model, they were and fully dry support. that model also has the coolest looking case Gibson ever made. Agreed. The With the, uh, almost like a tweed case, case with, with the stripe. Right those are so bad. Oh, dude, yeah, that's red. We got all the molds for those upstairs. Really? For those, for no knobs. way. For the knobs. For the knobs. Yeah, yeah, for the knobs. And I remember, I remember. For real? For real, for real. For real. And I remember we had the molds, and this is going back like 15 years ago, we had one of those come in, 150 or Charlie Christian, or whatever had that knob, and it was knobless. And I remember we had the mold, and I'm like, I got this. Yeah. You know. I don't know how many attempts how, it took me to get that. I was just going to ask, how, even how when many I was, times did it, did it take? I think back 15 years ago, even when I got it, it wasn't... I mean, if you were looking for it, you were like, oh, yeah. That's what a lot of dudes were doing is they were just... Oh, I made it look good, though. So you're... you're yeah. I made it Huh? You, yeah, you, you were making it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I made it. I made it once, yeah. and I didn't. I mean, it was okay. It was acceptable. You know? Yeah. Right. What a lot of cats right. were doing was they were taking those those lap steels. Yeah, that's right. And just Steal po the popping nose. popping yeah. everything off of there because who oh. cared about the lap steels? They weren't. You know, they had fallen out of favor. Now steels. lap steels. They just get lap raped. Steels. No, 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 man. You know what, man? They, for uh, everything. About uh, pick up stolen. About fifteen, twenty yeah, years ago, the yeah, lap yeah. steels started. You know, and I don't know if it was the Telly guys, like the Arlen Roths and all those dudes who were like ripping pickups out of them and putting them in their tellies but all of a sudden like lap steel started becoming more and more in favor <laughs> man i had a lap steel years ago that was rare as fuck it was a it was a tabletop pedals cheapo pedal steel made by gibson in 1957 it was a block of carina six strings with pedals and it had an original 57 paf in it exactly the same guitar what happened same to it? it was called the eh 610 
I don't know. I don't know. Only one, no only one I've ever seen in my whole life. I had a free what happened to him? I took the pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> you just told and, that fucking and, story. And the pots. You and the knobs. You that fucking story. You no, know, of course I did. Sold the switch yeah, to yeah, 500 yeah, bucks. Yeah, Are you kidding me? The pedal, that was a joke. The pedals were a joke. It was a joke. I mean, the pedal steel it really did. It was pretty crude. You movies, know what was so. cool, man? No. As far as <laughs> steels? <laughs> Magnetone made a steel, a double eight string. Yeah. Yeah. And it had acrylic yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Acrylic knobs, acrylic tuner buttons, yeah. everything. Even the, the the assembly that held the pickup in was acrylic. That thing was so freaking cool. And it weighed Dude, was, about 60 pounds. I was just looking at one of those. He's a total like, left He's got a million left. Three days ago. I, I was one. just looking at it. He's all kind of Rickenbackers. Okay. He's got, he's got, did you say Rickenbacker or Backer? I'll show it. Was, did Backer. that... Did, how do you say he, Orville did, Redenbacher? Well, did he have anything to do with that? I don't know. Seriously. I have Orville, no idea. What is it? Orville Redenbacher. He was Redenbacher. Rick and Bacher. You know, he was doing <laughs> the guitars. Who says it? I don't else. think so, man. So, he was doing the guitars for, for Magnetone yeah, early on. Some people on. think it's supposed to be Rick and Bacher. It, it could be a Bigsby Orville design. Redenbacher. It wouldn't surprise yeah. me if it was, but I really don't know. Yeah. I, there's not a lot of information about those. <laughs> no, no. But they're super badass. And I have the legs. I have all the yeah. legs. Right on. Hey, you guys, uh, uh, you guys I don't, we better close this up. I got tennis with Mike Kerb. Done. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's an old Al Anderson that's, joke. Yeah. I have to. I can't have to give him credit on that. Uh, one. Okay. I'll do one more. You ever notice? So, uh, sorry. You ever notice? <laughs> that's some old Nashville shit right there. That's funny. Switch tips. Never trust a man. That fondles your switch. Tip. Oh, dude. In a music store. Oh, dude. It's a big thing. Because yeah. you can steal it. Do that. Fake light switch tips. Are worth like eight hundred to a thousand dollars. So if someone is playing an instrument and they keep fondling the right. switch tip, that tells me they're feeling for that ridge that, ridge. that right. them that yep. it's a plastic yeah. made one That's and right. not a Blake like one. So if it's like you're fondling the switch tip too much, right. what you're gonna wind up seeing is a right. loose switch well, tip. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see it like that by the end of the day. Yeah. So what you wanna do is <laughs> Don't tell you... anybody. Don't tell No. Me. Don't, don't tell them. Because then they're gonna steal them. Guess they're what? Gonna steal them. You guys miss out? Yeah. I would have told you. Uh, I'm all okay, about. I, I got I'm a, all I about. Got, I got a great uh, cool. uh, way to end this. Okay. Um, and I'm and I'm having a blast. Oh, that's great. But but, but uh, I don't want this to be able to get too long. But tennis, yeah. I get it. No, I got tennis with my crew. Yeah. But um. Yes, you do. That's hilarious. So okay. <laughs> all right, serious. I want you to really think about this. Uh, I want you to play too. <laughs> You've been quiet over there. Yeah. Uh. Ugliest electric guitar ever Oof. made. I got one. Besides that one in the other room. Yeah, where's that thing in the other room? Yeah. Remember that thing in the other room? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I, I guess I got one. Uh, what do you think, bro? Mine is going to be low-hanging fruit of them. Like, it's not going to be one that... Because it's going to be something that we all know. Of course. But it's always like one of these guys that's going to stand up and say something like, I never liked the SG. Mm -hmm. well, come on, bro. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I, that's the... That yeah. comment could just, you know, be over there, bro. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to low-hanging fruit. I say the go. Bo Diddley. Boom. Okay. Done. It's all square. Right. All right. No, it's a rectangle. And that's from the past joke. Right, right, right. Got good, it. No, good, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The they're, rectangular yeah, bow diddly. I mean, that's just the most. Yeah, come on, it's yeah, a rectangle with yeah, an neck on yeah, it. It's, it's not ugly, but it's very. It's ugly. It, not a lot of thought went into it. It's the least shaped like a female of any instrument right. out there, and that's the only thing that makes uh, interesting. So you can I'll say this shape name, your well, guitar like a girl, beat? but you can't name your guitar. Well, there's flying, also a shape. Flying there, is kind right? of shaped like a female. Of course it is, bro. Of course it is. Yeah, what I'm saying is yeah. the, mo the, the more uh, uh, an instrument deviates from the female look, the less likely it's going to get attention from male players. Facts. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll buy that. Facts. I'll buy that. Facts. Even, even some of the, the yeah. weird shape instruments. They get some attention, but yeah, not that much. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but, but not as much as something like I really hope that you guys weren't talking about the Modern, by the way. No. No, no. no. All right. There's no. something out there that... Because we have a Modern here. We have... Fun. There's something out there that... that, that and I'm going to tell you something. I think the Modern is freaking cool. I don't know what it yeah, is. They're, they're which, cool. which one? I'm not going to... Mention, but there's something out there that, that needs to have at least a blanket over it. Yeah. So, is it a <laughs> some kind of blanket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or put it behind the counter yeah, so it exactly. doesn't scare the kids. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. 
It's, it's, some, new, it's some new thing out there. Yeah. Uh, boy, it's heavy. All right. Yeah, anyway. we should leave that alone. Oh, yeah, let's not talk We should leave that alone. But anyway. Um, Is it a flat top? Uh, yeah. I'm not, not talking. No, about it's, it's, it's it shall not, it shall not be spoken. Mm, yeah, uh, isn't that isn't that kind of funny? Yeah, though? yeah. All right, but let's name one. Uh, let's I, got name I got one. it. Yeah. I got it. My I got my answer. Yeah. Yeah. The '70s Gibson L6S. Yes. yes. Period. That's, Done. That's it, bro. Oh, dude. That's right. it. I was. I, that's that's it. It. You know what the ugliest part of it is? Was that your files up here? That that was right dude, up high. You know, on know what the ugliest yeah. part of that guitar oh, is? God. The ugliest. The, board. the knob. Situation. The binding. Oh, that's dude. the most. The thickest, tallest piece dude. of binding you'll dude. ever see on an instrument. It's like double Les Paul custom binding. It's like I took two pieces and put it together. You ever had a guy come up to you and be like? You know, man, everyone kept snoozing on the L6. <laughs> what about, what about the, the L6 about the, says, why is everyone snoozing on it? Fender Swinger. You know, I, those don't bother me. I mean, those are ugly as hell. They are ugly, but but you realize how those were all made. You you know the story about that? Of course I know the story how about, behind them. Yeah. All right. How about yeah. going from that to the to worst playing wood. guitar? Like, uh, yeah, like if, if, if a guitar right. was like a car, you yeah, would say yeah, that yeah, the yeah. fastest yeah. Ferrari would be the best driving playing. Which is the worst playing guitar, no matter how well it's set up, oh, just oh. by design, which guitar is the worst? Flying V. No, they were really wow. good. No. no I, 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 there's no comfortable way to play it, and if you're standing up, they play like shit. I would say Rickenbach. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Because uh, of the not, thin necks. Well, you never see a shred. Well, on them. no, you Mo's take a right, six string. Well, that's Mo's what I was. I was gonna say Mo's yeah, right. Like, you never answered the ugliest guitar. What is it? Uh, I like the V, but maybe the arrow, the opposite. That's, that's the swing, bro. That's the swing. I hate, hate that. That's the arrow. The swing. Yeah, that that's the, it doesn't that's make any sense. Feet. That's the swing. Yeah. It's called yeah. the swing. It's called the, the swing. By the way, and I just said, okay. no, I thought you were talking about you're the right, swing. swinger. Yeah. 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 He's, are you, you no, talk, he's, he's about, talking about, about the Gibson. You talking about the Gibson version? Oh, the reverse V. Yeah. That's not a swing. Is that a swinger? No, because because people also call people also call the swinger the arrow. No. 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 The one that looks like an arrow. The ugliest guitar. Uh, I agree with you, and I scrap my bow diggly, bit diddly for the right, right. Reverse, reverse flying V. Yeah, it is the ugliest guitar. By the way, yeah. you know, you know what guitar I'm holding in the last picture that we took is that, is that one. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Look yeah. at the look at the. Because it's the fucking coolest thing that Gibson's ever made. Who put that in his hands? <laughs> in a second. All right, all right, and then and then, then uh, let's do this. Come on, because this is fun. Strictly aesthetically speaking. Not saying it's the best or the most iconic or your personal favorite or the most this or that. Strictly visually, aesthetically speaking, coolest looking guitar ever made. Stratocaster. Think about what it would have been like in 1954. You see the ad for the Fender Stratocaster. You go out to a store, you pick one up. It's got all the curves. It's got all the contours. You've never seen anything like it before, ever. It's still the most beautiful guitar I've ever seen. Well, but the the, 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 the gold top was around two years before that. The gold top was beautiful. I, I go Not as beautiful the, uh... as, and, and I, I think that the Strat just had more going on. I would go with the carved top. Burst era Les Paul, and the reason I say burst not because it's expensive, but the the actual carving of the top is the most beautiful. That's why those instruments are respected. And I, if you take a seventies Les Paul, they're called bubble tops for a reason right. because the recurve isn't cut as nice and it's not anywhere near as glorious in that way. But to me, pure beauty and and just sex appeal would be the Gibson Les Paul from 59, you know, with the nice flaming top. So much so, in fact, that that allure is so, it pulls you in so much that um, that's why you make comments like, man, I don't like Les Pauls, right? right? Well, you say that because it's weird, because the draw is there so, like, how could you not? Right. Love a Les Paul. You with me? Yeah, it's and like that's, saying you don't like Liz up on it. That's it. So yeah, that's why right. I say I say the Les Paul because it is, even for people that don't like the way it is, they'll still want to play it. That's the one I prefer to play, but I play this one because I right. just can't. You know, you ever heard that before? Maybe I'm just not a Les Paul guy. Yeah. Yeah. And because of that, I would give that to the Les Paul. Plus the curves, the waist. It's all about the waist. Yeah. I'm, I'm 
a dissenting opinion here. I'm going to say the right old 6120. Yeah. Hey, that's a good one, man. I mean, come pretty, on. Pretty awesome looking guitars. Yeah, gonna, yeah that's a good I've one, that, Like, I've seen some you guys have, too. Like, oh. Yeah, that's I a mean, good one. Mine, insane. I've said it many times. Okay. There's nothing sexier a person can hold in their hands than a... Uh, than like a 1969, 70 Rickenbacker 4001 bass. The most wow. awesome. It's a cool looking. Awesome, it's a cool. It's a cool body shape. Awesome looking. Like if, I a don't know if a it girl rates like top there 10. there playing a Rickenbacker 4001. That's cool, <laughs> but a dude. It's not sexy. That's why like Lummy gets that. Uh, you know, dude. it's just not right. Uh, Paul McCartney. The crested wave. It's just not sexy. With those. What about yeah, Getty Lee? Man. You know, it's I mean, not it's, sexy. No, it's not. Oh, I don't think it's sexy. It's, it's, no, it's, it's a sexy. cool body oh. shape, though. It's because it's, it's futuristic, cool, it's you know. It's got, and it's got like the cresting wave, the peg head. Dude. It's, it's a I mean, cool. they're cool. They're cool, yeah. but not. Uh, I don't that know. Way. Top ten. Not. I'm with Where right Boros. He said he went with sixty one twenty. Where are you yeah. at? You said the Stratocaster. The Stratocaster. Okay. He's four thousand one bass. Wow. Cool. He's the four thousand one. I just think they're fucking. And you're the Paul. I got one for you, and this is this is this is a conversation that that we we. Have he didn't frequently. answer. Oh, go ahead. Firebird. Firebird. Also, ten Bacardi guitars. Mm -hmm. Just the V, the Firebird. I just yeah. think those are crazy. Yeah, yeah. The They're sexy. Do you yeah, see yeah. somebody play that? What like, is? Oh, yeah. What <laughs> is your favorite? What about the, like, sex appeal reverse versus non-reverse is like night and day though. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what you yeah. 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 but the reverse. Oh, Firebird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as sexiness of fire, you gotta, yeah. go you gotta go reverse. You gotta go reverse. You gotta go reverse. You gotta go reverse. Yeah. Gotta go reverse. Yeah. In '63, yeah. when those yeah. things came out, yeah. like think, that's like another thing. I mean, the, you, the we've never seen anything so like too. that. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the price guide also feels the same way. What is yeah. your favorite expression? For something that's on a guitar, like I know, like you, you said this one uh, time to me. You, you said, know, we, I can't we, say it well, on camera." We, yeah, I was just well, gonna say, we got a bunch, so, and we can't. So we ain't going uh, there. Many, many, many years ago, yeah. I heard, I heard you refer to when, when the, yeah. when the tulip buttons, when these things get all deteriorated, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. you call them the mummy toes. Mummy toes. The mummy first toes. time, yeah. right, mummy toes. The first time you said that, but that's to me, not original. You know, that's not original. No, but, no, no, but, no, no, sir. Yeah, that is uh, Scott Holyfield at uh, Glazers. He came up with that. I'm going to tell you yeah, something, though. That was one of yeah. the funniest things oh, dude. ever yeah, that I had heard. Yeah, yeah. And you said it. And Holy I Fields. remember just, just I couldn't even uh, I couldn't dude, even catch my breath. Yeah, I was no, laughing yeah. so hard. There, there what is your favorite expression? Mommy Tones is good. Uh, I, I can't, I, it's good. Yeah. I can't, I can't say it, but you know what yeah, it was? Yeah, you yeah, said yeah. it. Yeah. You said it and it was on Ursay's gig. Wait, you, you can't say it. No, but I'm not I said say it. it. No, I'm no, no. You said I can't say it in front of this camera. What I'm saying is, it was on Ursay's gig, and Danny Nucci came out with a saxophone. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. What yeah, you said that. right don't there was yeah. the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That's it. All right, it's a whistle. Go on. Don't well, now say we that. Have to yeah. Okay. No, no, no. no. Let's go on. It's a right. whistle. No chance. Go ahead. No, I didn't know. Look, Vince is out there. Hey, Vince is out there. Yeah. Oh, let's get him in here. So I thought, you know, I didn't know what you, you I remember you, you said a while, I didn't, I've been doing this my whole life. You said, man, we got a, we got a snake bite 335 there. Yeah, snake and I was bite, like, snake bite. I was right? like, what? Uh, a what? And you were like, I go, what's a snake bite? I'm kind of embarrassed about that one, Why? but it is what it is. Uh, because, because a snake bite is, is kind of like what's on a, you know, like a Bigsby, removed Bigsby, plugged holes on a burst. It's a snake bite, usually two or three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see if he's out there. I'll bring him in. Yeah. yeah. He's, it's, he's, it's a, he's across the hall. See these? You see that right there? Sometimes you get the two from where the screws yeah. were being on, on, on a trapeze or something that was previously yeah. there. They call that the snake oh, bite. George. Yay. We're just drinking beers and ruining your office. <laughs> Conference room. <laughs> George, um... Strictly, aesthetically speaking, not due to its iconic nature or or its price or its collectability. Strictly, aesthetically speaking, visually, lines, curves. What's the most beautiful guitar ever made? It's hard not to no describe what is a guitar because you, you, it's, if you're talking about electric guitars, let's go. Let's go with electric. Acoustic. Let's go with electric. With electric guitars. <laughs> 
it's really hard to do much better than a good 335. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, nevertheless, Paul has good lines, but I think it's maybe less innovative, and so far as lines, it just flow. There's something about the 335 that is really, really special. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, if I were designing it from the ground up, I might give it the lore snake head peg head. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, wow. Uh, those think, are awesome. I think that would be even neater. Right. But it's, this is still so good. That body shape is hard to beat. And they did change it later, right. and it wasn't for the better. Right. Right. So now they're sort of back to right. that. Right. But when you try drawing those curves, you know, I can't imagine. Who, who, who designed that guitar? I am not sure. Yeah. Huh. Um, huh. Yeah. Somebody made that, right? Well, like there was a guy that made Didn't that. They well, that they and it's pretty the, impressive. I mean, well, before I then, know, like who designed the fire? Right, right. So before the three thirty-five, George. Before the three thirty-five, was there another press top instrument? Mass produced press top instrument. Well, sure, because the ES one seventy-five was. Uh, and the ES-125 was... Multiply press top. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Mm -hmm. But the 335 is the first that was a semi-hollow. Mm -hmm. Because the, the 175 was already there by 49. Uh, but they were fully hollow. And Do you think... Huh. Do you think if... If they would have... If somebody would... If they would have gone to the trouble of carving a solid piece for the top of a 335, it would even have been better? That's a great question. Would it have been mm. better, even better? That's a great question. Yeah. Well, Answer, I think, so. I think so, yeah. yeah. I do too. I do, yeah, when yeah. When it comes down to it, you know, the, the grown model electric yes. does that. Not to name drop. And uh, <laughs> gives <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Gibson, listen, listen. I think, has already done that yes. on something like that. 339 model. But That's a so card top? Yeah. Okay. All right, here's the most important question of the day. This is what we ended up with after all this brainstorming. And I'm dying to hear your answer to this. Would stick with electrics, in your opinion, the ugliest electric guitar ever designed? Well, there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It's. Uh, yeah. In Gibson, there were a fair number. Uh, and, um, <laughs> the, and the, the early styles looked good, and the later ones did not. And the RDs were ridiculous. Yes. And the uh, ridiculous. That's that's what it stood for. RD. But, RD. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh. uh, ridiculous. I actually I saw one the other day that actually looked cool. Uh, oh. Elliot had one. An right? artist that was looked, it the artist model. It had, something about it. I was like, wow, that's the first RD I've ever seen that looked cool. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 That thing that was yeah. that, that one with the robot tuners at Firebird X. Thing. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, let, let let it's a good thing they let, ran let over let all of those with out, a yeah, tractor. Let me throw out two letters and a number. Wait. Yeah. L6S. <laughs> no, no, the Firebird X is worse. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a picture of that. That's no, the I... one that Henry said was going to revolutionize oh, yeah. the yeah, whole revolutionize industry. The well, they're not going to see it on, on, on the camera there, George, on the phone. But, uh, yeah, but I'll I see happen to have one right here. Picture. What if I pull it <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I don't think that's going to Oh, those, uh... Yeah. Oh, man. I just happen to have one right here. <laughs> Into a game. We don't have <laughs> those, those uh, Martin Electric. Oh, yeah, F75. Yeah. Pretty terrible. The E series, the E18s? Yeah. The E18? T75? No, the, no, the, the FT Firebird X. No, the FT stuff was the hollow body. You know what else? The hollow body. No, oh, you're talking about the hollow body. I thought you were talking about the solid bodies. I don't remember those. Oh, they, oh the e solid e bodies. Yeah. Well, I actually no, have one of those. 18s. They, they, had, they, they, they had the yeah. EMs yeah. and the E's. Yeah, okay. I have one of those. Were they really looking? They, oh, yeah, they were they were kind of like, like bad uh, Olympics. Exactly, they were Real Olympic. Bad looking. Olympics, yeah. So or yeah. like the ovation. Remember the ovation Ooh. electrics? Oh yeah. Well, that was it was, I was similar. Say, like the ovation Ooh. preacher was pretty that's, ridiculous dude. looking. Yeah. I would go the with Deacon. the ovation. Remember the, Deacon. the Deacon. Well, Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It was the, yeah. that was that was I think the the, the ugliest. Well, you know out what, of bro? The bunch. You know what's ugliest, hell, man? And I don't care who plays it. 
Like an ovation ballad here. Oh, yeah. Or like yeah, one of those yeah, ornate it's, it's, ovations. Well, tell Richie Sambora that, man. Hey, I don't get so mad at you. <laughs> Richie's cool, man. I didn't get so mad at, at you. He can pull He's it gonna off. He's going to see this video. No one else can pull it off. All right, Richie. Yeah. <laughs> what was the... No one else can pull it off. I mean, seriously. He can... uh, a lot of metal guys in the 80s did or rock and yeah. or, or you well, they, pop you didn't, metal. You didn't have a lot of choice for what you wanted to plug in. Right. That didn't make it pretty or aesthetically pleasing. No, you know, I got. I have a theory about why those things kind of died off as far as in popularity wise. No. No, because people realized oh, you could spend yeah. three thousand bucks on one of those, or you that, could spend six hundred bucks on one of them, yeah, and the, the electronics camera. are the same electronics. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey George, I have I have one last question. Yeah, Would you fun indulge me? That is the beautiful it's rough, man. I, I think it's that's pretty, beautiful. That's pretty rough. Come on, George. One last question, George. If that's had the robot tuners and nothing on it worked, then it was just. It was <laughs> but aesthetically, it thought it was horrid. It, it is, looks a little bit like the RD. It was real. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the uh, RD was better than what that. What about the bow diddly, George? The rectangular bow diddly. Yeah. What well, do you think about do that? Do you ever sell a bow diddly, George? Uh, have you? Have you? I think Tom Holmes made a few of those. That's right. That's yeah, right. The right. THCs. That's yep. right. The THCs. That's right. That's right. Um, question. <laughs> this, can I ask you this? This is I've been burning. This is a burning question. I'm not ask. I'm, I I know this is going to sound like I'm asking for a name. I'm not asking for a name. I would never put you on the spot like that. But since 1970, you've been dealing with rock stars, celebrities. All kind of people coming in here buying guitars off you. Big names. I'm not asking for a name. Please know this. Is there one person that comes to your mind when I say the cheapest mm. celebrity mm. of all time? Don't name a name, but it, does someone come to your mind? The most. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you mm. leave, can you just give us an era, like a decade? I'm not asking for a name. A decade, just to give us anything. <laughs> Not asking for a name. Fairly recent. Okay, okay, fairly <laughs> recent. Okay, all right, good. So there is someone. Uh, what are you looking <laughs> at me for? I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, there you have that. All right. He told me my guitar and couldn't. He couldn't justify it financially, but. The uh -uh. car he drove up in right. would have cost more for an oil change right. than I right. wanted for and, the yeah, guitar. Yeah, for guitar. Oof. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything you want to say to the homeschoolers out there? Because this, this video is coming to an end. Well, what I can say is I think guitars are the ultimate art. That's a fact. They look great. With some right. exception. That's right. Yeah. They feel great. Yes. They can sound great. Yes. And unlike a painting where all you can do is look at it, but you don't touch it, you don't hear it, you don't feel it, you don't interact with it. The guitar is the ultimate interactive because when you get a really good one, it feels alive and it gives you ideas you might not have thought of otherwise. Right. So it actually can stimulate your creativity, and it's fun, and it makes you really feel really powerful, too. Right. And it's almost like an extension of you. You and it That's sort right. of come together, right. and you feel like you almost put on a Superman suit because you can do things that, with it that you can't do without it, right. but it's safe. See, if you get a high-powered car and it gives you ideas, yeah every single one of those ideas you get a ferrari and you do right. everything it suggests to you right well you got flashing blue lights and heavy yeah. fines yeah. Or, or even if you're a skilled driver yeah. and you go out on the interstate here yeah. and you hit 180 miles an hour the other mm -hmm. thing you're going to hit right. is a pothole right right and you might die or it might suggest things to you that are beyond your capability but you feel an urge to try it right you die and that's in like their family of six with it. This just took a very, very sad turn. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're on a roll there, George.
Well, you, wanted to, you wanted to cry with my story. <laughs> now I you know. have George's story. Well, all these things you try on the guitar, right. if they it's sound so good, it's something it's new. Yeah, got if it. it sounds bad, <laughs> and you yeah. can, nobody gets hurt, nobody right. dies. And you can make a living with it. You can try it again. And, and you can, make and you a can try out right. these ideas yeah. safely. So Suppose you're trying out ideas on a car. Or even right, on a bicycle, right, right. as he guys will do all those flips and whatever. Right. I've always been amazed. How do they learn how to do that without dying That's in the right. process? Right. With a guitar, you try something. That's it right. doesn't work. Okay. So That's you try right. it again and again and again until you get right. it right. But with these death-defying feats that you see, you know, the sky jumpers yeah. and all this other stuff, you fuck up, you're dead. That's it. That's it. With the guitar, you can do all these fun things. Right. And not die. And the other thing yeah. about the guitar is yeah. you can use it for its intended purpose. It will last for beyond your lifetime. That's right. It's likely to go up in value. If you're a professional musician, you buy it with before tax dollars. It's a business expense. Your account will right. depreciate it, but later it's worth more money. You yes. buy an expensive bottle of wine, we're, we're you can getting, spend 40 grand on a we're expensive the whole bottle of wine off the no, course. It's gone. And, ooh, well, it's not gone yet. Sometimes you open it and it's just vinegar. Right. And that's, you're screwed. Right. And if it's good, you don't drink it alone. You got to drink it with a bunch of other folks and brag about how much you spent yeah. for it. Otherwise, you don't get any, what's the point of spending $40,000 on wine? Yeah. But then Moochers. it's gone. And you know what you have two hours later? You pee. Right. Right. You serve it I want to know, dinner did it have it, a screw on top or a cork? <laughs> or a cork? Did you say the forty thousand dollars? No, I'm just kidding, George. I'm just kidding. <laughs> did you know that something like ten to twenty percent of those wines are actually garbage when you when you actually cork them? So you could pay ten thousand dollars for a bottle of wine, yeah. cork it, and not realize there might have been a little air that got in, and it's garbage, and, yeah. it's, and, and you're out. Well, especially if it's really yeah, you don't know until you open it. You don't know until you open it, but you'll buy it and, and have no idea whether you you only know it. Well, before the thing you're about is, if you you so serve the, the dinner, I know what I'm getting. You have a sushi but. dinner that's a thousand dollars a plate, and the bottle of wine was forty grand, but you just have several friends over. And two hours later, they pee, and in the right, morning, they it. poop. That's it. You can know. use the guitar for its intended purpose, and that's it right. doesn't degrade. That's right. Yeah. It, it will last and you. last. You can play. Yeah, I got a Martin on the Wall from 1857, and I have another one that loaned out 1836. I have an 1842. Right. And they're still playable. You can use them, enjoy them for the rest of your life. Yeah. You grow with it. It becomes your musical partner. Yeah. The bottle of wine, you get a few seconds of yeah. sensation. That's it. Sure. The guitar, you use it, and it's not. What it's about a bottle of this, George? Same damn same thing. thing. It doesn't cost forty <laughs> grand. Same damn thing. <laughs> He's right, though. All right, quick question. He's half hour. We were marveling at this amazing life's collection of catalogs. What catalog is the most valuable, rare catalog? Of all the stuff you have up there, uh, frankly, I'm not even sure. Right. Uh, I used to have the one and only known Larson catalog, and I traded oh, wow. it for an instrument. Did you really? <gasps> and the instrument's worth a few thousand bucks, but I wish when I, was this? It's been 20 years ago. Yeah. But I wish I kept like the catalog. That, yeah. The only it, known one. Yeah, we have good photos, copies of it, but it's yeah. uh, so far as just general information. The other thing about those catalogs is they're not necessarily all on acid-free paper, uh, so the guitars last better than them. Right. Wow. Well, hmm. That's a good the point. Guitars really last, and the guitars the also last better than uh, amplifiers. Yeah. Amplifiers degrade with age. Mm -hmm. Was there a time when you were actively buying lots of catalogs? Uh, it was a lot easier to collect them in the old days. Now they're very expensive. Right, right. It used to be I could get them for damn near nothing. Right. Uh, but they're useful reference material. Right. And for reference, photocopies are just as good. Right. right. You don't have to have the originals right. for that. Right. You can even find a lot of that online now. But online guitar, you can't play right. it. And there's folks doing investments now where you can 
buy a share of an explorer mm -hmm. or you can get a share a hundred dollar <laughs> no share fun. toward right. the That's van no gogh fun. painting no, you don't get a painting i didn't know that they did that with guitars yeah i know they yeah, did that with paintings trying, but they're trying to do it i own, with the, I own half the too. first fret i'd <laughs> rather have <laughs> look, I'd rather from that have, g string <laughs> down is mine i'd rather have 100 percent ownership of an es125 That's about, yeah or an l6s ownership of an explorer yeah. that i don't see oh. I don't hear. That's I don't the silliest touch, damn I can't thing ever. Is the Explorer from '58? So those Some, are just yeah, but it doesn't matter great what idea. year it is because somebody's got a great idea with that. Yeah, those you know, are the yeah, investments. The, the one who's running the fund, the they make money on it, but they buy it with your money, and then they sell it That's when silly. it's their wanting, when they gotcha. want to cash it out. Gotcha. You don't have any say in that. You have no control over it, no use out of it, wow. no fun with it. Even That's a great. relatively inexpensive guitar can be fun to play. Of course, of course. Some of the best music in the world has been done on guitars that were relatively cheap. A lot of those blues guys didn't have any money, and they still made great music. There are some guitars just exude soul and personality, Maybe. and others can be quite expensive and don't do that. I mean to ask you this: What you were there since 1970, right? Well, I've been collecting since right. since '63. What was the first year you remember people going, you know what, these new guitars aren't as cool as the old ones? Well, that was before I even started to buy any. Really? Hmm. I was well aware from day one that the old ones were what I wanted because the people I hung out with were playing old ones and were talking about how the new ones didn't compare. Even back in 60, 68, Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You could listen to them and tell the difference immediately. Wow. A, a new Martin from That's 1963 yeah. sure as hell didn't sound like a herringbone. Uh, in 1963, a new telly sounded good. But by 1966, I remember in 66, comparing a 66 new Fender with a 64, night and day right, different. The one made pots and they really, yeah. Yeah, wow, man, wow, okay. I knew that before I ever bought a guitar. Amazing, wow. Right. That's fascinating. That's cool. I actually That's helped my brother, younger than me by three years, he started playing before I did. I had a driver's license and he didn't. So I drove him around and we went to guitar stores listening to guitars. I couldn't mm. play, he did. I listened to it until finally he played when I said, that's it, buy it. Wow, that's cool. very cool. it looked new. It cheated us. Wow. They had it tagged as a new Martin. It was, they had sent it back to Martin, but I, we couldn't find it in a catalog. So I took a picture of it. I gave him the serial number. I mailed it to Martin and they sent us back a letter. <laughs> it was a 1929 Martin single 28K. And also, they included, instead of a photocopy of the catalog, yeah. they had plenty of old catalogs they just laying around. They ripped the page out of the original oh catalog and put it in the envelope with the letter. Jesus. But the thing is, I picked it out then, right. and that was before I even started to play. That right. would have been around 1961. Right. Wow. That's good. But I had friends who played, and they were talking about how the old ones were right. better. It's always been like that. Well, the bluegrasses knew perfectly right. well, but the old ones were better. Right. That's why Monroe didn't play a new F5. Right. And the bluegrasses didn't want new Gibson RB250s. Right. They wanted old flatheads. Right. We knew. Yeah. And Mike Bloomfield knew. Yeah. And I used to hang out with Mike. Yeah. I knew him. And he, he was the first boy that really made vintage electrics something that people were looking for yeah. because he absolutely was not interested in the new ones and it wasn't that he just wanted old it's that he wanted guitars that really sounded great right. and he could not get sounds out of right. a new fender or a new gibson I get it. and uh but yeah he was playing les paul's before there were any reissues and as no sooner did he get a les paul he got a 54 gold top everybody who called me wanted one because I was already wheeling and dealing stuff out of my college dorm room. And he, he he's, people wanted it, and then I, I found a sunburst when it was the wrong color. It had those sickly sweet sounding oh. syrupy humbuckers. <laughs> it had a kinematic that killed sustain 
but within two weeks after he got a burst and they couldn't remember having said that right but they followed what he wanted but a lot of people would call me and say I wow. want one of those Les Paul guitars but why is it called a Les Paul who or what was that I had another guy who called me wanting to know if I could find him a Les Paul Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't know who Les was. Anyway. All right. You are tired enough? Yeah. How are you feeling? <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for helping us. Good night, homeschoolers. Good night. See you later tonight. All right.